All right, so let's get ourselves warmed up. We're gonna get started with our 10 jumping jacks, whether it's high impact or low. So 10 jacks. So then we're gonna go right into those front lunges, 10 total. So we're gonna do five on the left, five on the right. Again, don't worry too much about how low you get into the lunge. We're just firing up those hips, knees, and ankles. Once you've done your five and five, find a wall, chair, something if you need for balance. We're gonna go into our leg swings. 10 on the left, 10 on the right. If you don't have anything close by to hold on to, just glue your eyes onto a focal point. Really tighten up through that core and just swing arms to opposite leg and that will help with your balance. Once you have done 10 left, 10 right, we're gonna come down onto the core. High plank will push up position. So hands and toes. We're gonna go into a spider climb with a rotation. So you're gonna take one foot, step it nice and wide to the same hand. Open up towards your ceiling, set that foot back. Same thing on the other side. Take an extra second or two to really get into that hip chest and the shoulder. We're gonna do 10 total, so five on the left, five on the right. And then once you have done your 10, just stay down in your plank position. We're gonna finish off with either 10 plank to a pass or 10 plank jack. So you're either gonna jump or tap the feet out to the side, 10 total. And then we're going to stand up. We're going to find a set of dumbbells that you can do a rotational shoulder press with. We're going to get started. So, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We have, I think, 11 moves that we're going to run through. But we stay with each move for three rounds. So once we've done three rounds of our squat rotational press, we only get a 10 second break before we flow right into that next move. So, move number one, like I just said, we need two dumbbells at the shoulder. We're gonna squat, rotational press. Now when you do a rotational press, we're gonna rotate, hip, knee, and ankle. We're gonna punch that arm straight up to the ceiling, 12 o'clock. Not at a one or two, 12. So get that arm up, alternating left and right. Move number two. Just so you know where we're heading. Deadlift, reverse lunge, bicep curl combination. Everything is a combo today. There's always at least two moves squished together. So, deadlift, stand tall. As you step back into the reverse lunge, you'll do a bicep curl, and then you're gonna rinse and repeat, alternating left and right. All right, you guys ready? I need two dumbbells up at the shoulders. Squat with that rotational press. Here we go. So grab a seat, stand tall, rotate and punch that ceiling, come right back down to the center. Take your time. Don't worry about your speed. I need chest up, core engaged the whole time. We're gonna push that butt back into the squat. I want you to get as low as you can. Stand up nice and tall. Rotate hip, knee and ankle as you go into that rotational press. We got 10 seconds, guys. We can make any weight adjustments for round two. Three, two, there it is. Shake it out. 10 second break, rinse and repeat. Two more times, guys, same thing. All right, hands up. Grab a seat. Rotate and press. Make sure you're punching your ceiling. 12 o'clock, get that bicep to ear. Sit that butt back as deep as you can into the squat. Push through those feet to stand up out of the squat, squeezing that butt on the way up. Good, take your time with that rotation, guys. Make sure that arm is going straight up, getting that bicep to ear. All right, we got about five seconds. We got one more time with this move. Then we get to move on. Good, shake it out. You can make weight changes from round one to two to three. All right, we got three seconds. One more time. Grab a seat. Press the overhead. Good. 
Good. See if you can get a little lower into that squat on round three. Nice job, guys. Come on. We have that deadlift, reverse lunge, bicep curl combination coming up next. You can keep the same weight that you're using now. You can drop down, you can go heavier. Whatever you need for that bicep curl. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds if you need a quick drink, grab it. Or you only got a 10 second break. Woo, shake it out. One deadlift, bring the feet together. Reverse lunge with the bicep curl. We got three seconds. Here we go. One deadlift, stand up nice and tall. Step it back, bicep curl, reset. Deadlift again, other leg. Whoops, other leg. Take my own advice. When you do the deadlift, I need a nice flat back. Keep that core engaged. Abs tight, come on, I just said the same thing twice, basically. When you do the bicep curl, keep that arm nice and close to the body. Just move that elbow, guys, not the shoulder. We got five seconds left. In three, two, good. Shake it out, 10 second break. Two more times. Make any weight changes before round two. You ready? One deadlift, stand nice and tall. Reverse lunge with that bicep curl. Alternating your legs, keeping that core engaged. Back nice and flat as you come down into the deadlift. Shave the legs with your weights. Squeeze that butt as you stand up. Drop that back knee down as much as you can to the floor for the reverse lunge. 10 seconds, guys. We have one more round of this combination, and then we're gonna move on. In three, two, good. One more time, and we're gonna move on to a sumo squat with a front shoulder raise. All right, let's get set up. One deadlift, stand tall, reverse lunge with that curl. Keep that shoulder locked into place, guys. Make sure you don't swing the dumbbells up with the curl. Keep that core engaged, chest up. You got it. Sumo squats with a front shoulder raise coming up. You can use two dumbbells or one. You're gonna do one sumo, stand up, and then one front shoulder raise. So it's just two movements done back to back. They're not flowing. You don't do them at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. Good, make any weight changes. So feet wide, toes so slightly turned out. One sumo, one front raise. So grab a seat, bring your arms up parallel to the floor. Shoulders down and back, chest up. I want you to push those knees out in the same direction as the toes as you sit. Keep that core engaged. Make sure you don't arch the back as you bring those dumbbells up parallel to the floor. So you can also use just one dumbbell, especially if you only have heavier weights. So that's another option. But make sure you do it as two separate moves. We got five seconds left, guys. Woo! Nice work. Make any weight changes for round two. Shake it out, grab a quick drink, but you've only got two seconds. Get those feet nice and wide. Here we go, grab a seat. Stand tall, come on up in front. Watch your posture. Eyes up, try not to look down at your floor. Engage that core, pull that belly button into the spine. Push those knees out. Squeeze that butt as you stand. You got it guys, come on, 15 seconds. One more time with this move, and then we get to move on. That's it, last five. Just get those arms up parallel, that's it, come on. There it is. One more time, shake it out, grab water. Woo, we got three seconds. Grab a seat. 
Stand tall. Bring those arms up parallel to the floor. Engage that core, guys. Keep those shoulders down and back. Don't let them creep up to those ears. You got it, you got it, come on. When the timer goes, make sure all your dumbbells are out of the way. We're gonna do some squat jacks. The only move that is not a combo. Well, yeah, so, maybe, not really, no. Squat jacks are coming up next, guys. We got about five seconds left. Woo! Nice work. Weights out of the way. Grab a quick drink. You can jump this or step it or do a mix of the two. Start with those feet together. Are you ready? Jump it out. Bring that hand down to the floor. Low impact. You're going to step rather than jump. Only difference. Eyes up. Chest up. Keep that core engaged. Push that butt back into your squat. If your hand doesn't come to the floor, all good. Get as low as you can. Start with jumping, finish with a step. Just don't stop. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 second break coming up. Two rounds left. In five, four, three, two. Woo, shake it out, walk it out. We gotta do that two more times, guys. We got three seconds, we're gonna rock and roll. Start with those feet together. Here we go. Up. Good. You got it, come on. Stay with me for these 40 seconds. Push that butt back. Keep that core tight. Keep those eyes up, off your floor. Come on, we're halfway there. Keep going. Drop it down if you need to, guys. Step it up. 15 seconds. One round left. And then we're gonna move on. Woo! That's it, that's it, that's it. Five seconds, come on. Three, two. Woo! Walk it out. Walk it out. One more time, guys, one more time. Oh. You ready? Here it is, last one. When the timer goes, grab a quick drink. We're gonna need two dumbbells. We're gonna alternate a lateral lunge with a one-arm row for the back. So grab weight, two dumbbells that you're good to do one-arm rows with. Oh, we got 15 seconds, come on. The last 10. Get that butt down, come on. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, two dumbbells, one in each hand. Lunge, row, feet together. Lunge, row, feet together. Here we go. Lunge it out, row. Bring those feet together. So when we do the row, opposite arm to opposite leg. Keep that chest up, hip back. Drive that elbow up and back behind you. We are working your mid back. Squeeze that shoulder blade towards the spine. You got it guys, come on, 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two. Make any weight adjustments for round two. You got five seconds to figure it out. Start with your feet together. Here we go. Step it out. Do that row. Feet together. Eyes up. Find that focal point. Keep that core engaged. Push that hip out and back as you step out to the side. Drive the elbow up and back. Squeeze that mid back at the top. You can even hold it for a second, then release, slow it down. If you're not feeling those muscles tighten up. Oh, we got five seconds. Good. I need to take a couple of big deep breaths so I can catch my words better. All right, we got one round left, guys. You ready? Here it is. 
When the timer goes after this round, we're down on the floor on your back. You're gonna need one heavy dumbbell or two lighter. We're gonna do one skull crusher into one abdominal crunch. So that is our next combo. So we're gonna come down on the floor on our back. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Now if you need to make it easier, you can extend the legs out a little bit in front. We got five seconds, guys. Get ready to hit the deck. Good. One heavy dumbbell or two lighter. You choose. I'm gonna go with one heavy. Hands up. So one skull pressure. Hold the weight up above the chest. Sit it up. Roll back down. One skull pressure. One sit up. Now, like I said, you can extend your legs out a little bit to help with that crunch. Totally fine. Just don't have the legs perfectly straight on the floor. All right, 10 seconds, guys. Keep those elbows tucked with the triceps. Five seconds, come on. Woo, good work. I'm gonna show you with two wider dumbbells pushed together. So we got two seconds. You guys ready? So, triceps, we'll reach for that ceiling. With two dumbbells, you need to glue them together. You're bringing the weight just behind the head. Keep that back push down into the floor. Drive that belly button into the floor to lift the shoulders to go into that crunch. We got 15 seconds left, guys. One more round with this particular move, and then we get to stand back up. Three, two, there it is. Oh, one more, guys, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna need two dumbbells that you can overhead press again. There we go, last time. One skull pressure, one sit up. Good, take your time. Really think about what those abs are doing as you sit it up. Make sure those elbows are not flaring out to the side with those skull pressures, guys. Keep them tucked. Good, come on, we're halfway there. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna need two dumbbells. We're gonna alternate a curtsy lunge with an overhead shoulder press. Come on, we got about five seconds. Get ready to pop it up. Woo! There it is. Two dumbbells, guys. One in each hand. Up at the shoulder, palms face out. One curtsy, feet together, press it overhead. One curtsy, feet together, press overhead. Keep those eyes up off your floor. Keep your abs engaged. Drop that back knee down as much as you can to the floor. Drive through that front foot to bring the feet together. Getting those biceps to ears for the overhead press. We got 10 seconds, guys. Two rounds left. Make any weight adjustments if you need to. In four, three, two, Woo, shake it out, walk it out, grab a quick drink, whatever you gotta do to get ready for round two. You got three seconds, guys, you ready? One curtsy, feet together, press it up. Take your time, take an extra second here, then do your press. It's all good, you can slow it down. Make weight adjustments if you need to. Just don't stop. That's the only rule. The only rule. 15 seconds, guys. Come on. Keep that core tight, chest up. Come on, 10 seconds left. We got one more round here. And we've got four moves left. Four moves left. In three, two, woo. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Are your shoulders talking to you yet? Oh, all right, you guys ready? Round three. Here it is. 
One curtsy. Feet together, press it up. Now, when the timer goes, we're gonna come down onto the floor. We're gonna do one push up, followed by one renegade row. So the push up can be done from the knees or the toes. You can even elevate your hands for this one. Try and keep both hands on the dumbbells if you can. If that bothers your hands, hands are on the outside of the dumbbells with the push up. And then grab a dumbbell as you go into the renegade row. Pull. In three, two. Oh my goodness, my shoulders hit the deck. Eat your toes, guys, or elevate those hands. One push up, one row, one row. Here we go. Drop that chest down. Renegade row, renegade row. Same thing from the knees. Drop that chest. Row, row. If you're on your feet, wider feet will make it easier to keep your back flat, hips nice and square. Come on, guys. We got 15 seconds. Woo! The last 10. Drive those elbows up and back. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Woo! Now, holding on to your dumbbells bothers your hands. Keep your dumbbells in the middle, hands to the outside. Here we go. I'm going to show you that one on this round. One push up, renegade row, renegade row. That's the only difference. One push up, row, row. Knees or toes, guys. Start on the toes, drop to the knees. Start on the knees, elevate those hands. You just gotta keep going, that's it. We got 10 seconds. One round left. Woo! That's it. Five, four, three, two. Oh, shake it out. One more, guys, and then we're gonna stand back up. Big breath. Get yourself set up. Here we go, knees or toes. Drop it down, one row, one row. Keep your eyes on the floor, we need that flat back. Or engage, guys, come on. Nice work, when the time goes, we're gonna stand up. We are going to do a front lunge with a front shoulder overhead shoulder raise. So, you can have two dumbbells for one, 10 seconds. Grab some water on the way up if you need it. In five, four, three, two, woo! Oh, all right. I'm gonna show with one dumbbell. So one dumbbell between the hands. Oh no, sorry, lateral raise. Oh, I can't read. That's okay. One front lunge, feet together. Lateral raise. Front lunge. Feet together, out to the side. Eyes up, find that focal point again. Tighten up that core. Keep those shoulders down the back. Drop that back knee down as much as you can to the floor. Push off through that front leg to bring the feet back together. 10 seconds, guys, come on. You can make any weight changes for round two. In three, two, there it is. Woo! Shake it out. Oh, four seconds, guys. You ready? Lunge it forward. Feet together. Arms come to parallel. Now, you can keep the arms as straight as you can without locking the elbows. Long lever. Or you can bend the elbows. Keep them at 90. And move through a shorter lever which will make it easier. Awesome work, guys. Keep those shoulders down and back. Don't let them creep up to those ears. 10 seconds. One round left. We've only got two moves left in our circuit, guys. Come on. You got it, you got it, you got it. Woo. Shake it out. One more time. And then we got our swing squats. 
All right, here we go. Lunge it forward. Lateral raise, long arm or short. Make it work for you as those shoulders get tired. Keep that chest up, core engaged. Drop that back knee down, get as low as you can, guys. Come on. Last time here. Swing squats coming up. If you don't want to do a swing squat, you're going to do a regular two-handed swing with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. All right, we got about five seconds. Come on, right to that timer. Oh, all right, guys, I'm gonna swing with the dumbbell on round one, and I'll do a kettlebell. So we add a squat every other swing. Chest up, push that butt back. High pass, one swing, drop down, one swing, drop down. Now, if you don't want to do that, you're just going to do a regular two-handed swing. That's it. That's your alternative. But I need those eyes up, core engaged, push that butt back into that deadlift, squeeze that butt as you stand up. Come on, guys. Ten seconds. Come on. Stay with me. We got five, four, three, two, woo! Park it in front. I'm gonna show you the kettlebell for round two. Woo! Hips back, chest up. I pass, one swing, drop it down. Keep that core engaged, guys. We gotta support that lower back. Remember, your arms are just along for the ride. Do not let them. They are being swung using the momentum of those legs. Come on. 15 seconds. One round left. Good. Last 10. Right to that timer, guys. Come on. Don't stop on me. Five, four, three, two. Woo! -hoo. Shake it out, walk it out. We gotta do that one more time, guys. Oh my goodness. You ready for the last one? Here we go. Tight pass. Going through. The squat or not the squat. Up to you. Make it work for you. Make it challenge you. Come on. Halfway there. One, move, left. We're gonna do a deadlift with one dumbbell into one overhead jumping jack. First, stay in with the cardio. In five, four, three, park it, pull. 10 seconds is not enough for the cardio. All right, ready? One deadlift, one jumping jack. So, one deadlift. Bring that weight to the chest. Jack it in. One deadlift. Low impact. Tap, tap. One deadlift. Hop. Good. Take your time with that deadlift. Set yourself up. Core tight, chest up. Back nice and flat. With that jumping jack, keep that tall posture. Get that weight right to your ceiling. 10 seconds. You got it, come on. Woo! Oh. oh, we got two down, one down, two to go. Make any weight changes, guys, you ready? One deadlift. Stand tall, jack it out, high impact or low. Keep that core engaged, guys. Take your time setting up for each move. Don't rush it. Nice work, nice work. Halfway, come on. Ooh, yeah, 15 seconds. Come on, guys, we only have to do this one more time. Now we're gonna stretch. We are going to stretch you out. Ooh, four, three. Two. Oh, one more time, guys. That's it. One more. I need another 40 seconds. That's it. Are you guys ready? 
One deadlift. Get that weight to the chest. That's it. One jack. Bring that weight overhead. Set yourself up for that deadlift. Set yourself up for that jumping jack. Come on. Push that butt back. Get that nice stretch of the hamstring. Squeeze the butt of the way up. Come on. 15 seconds, guys. Big old water break coming up. We got 10 seconds. Ooh, three, two, oh, done and done. I want you to walk it out. I want you to take some nice big deep breaths. Grab some water. You guys did amazing. That was a lot of continuous work. When you're ready, be knee down on the floor, on your back. We're gonna pull those knees into the chest. We're gonna give them a nice big hug. We're gonna take some nice big deep breaths. Get that heart rate to slow down. Get our breathing back under control. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bring those arms out to the side like the letter T. We'll drop both knees either to the left or to the right. You can hold it here. Or you can extend that top leg if you need to go deeper into the stretch. Keeping that opposite arm down and on the floor as best as you can for a chest and shoulder stretch. And then just switching sides whenever you're ready. Drop both knees, hold it there. Or extend that top leg if you need to go deeper into that stretch. Nice work, guys. We're gonna bring our legs back to the middle. One leg's gonna come up for hamstrings. So we're grabbing the bumper below the knee or the toe, but I need you to get that leg straight. If you need a deeper stretch, extend the opposite leg out in front. And then just switching legs whenever you're ready. Grabbing a bumper below the knee or the toe, get that leg nice and straight. And then extend that opposite leg for a deeper stretch. Taking nice, big, deep breaths here still, guys. And then we're gonna flow into your figure four. Crossing an ankle over a knee. We're gonna push that knee away with the hand. We're gonna pull that leg in for a deeper stretch. Switching legs whenever you're ready. So we're gonna push the knee away or grab onto that uncrossed leg and pull in. As long as you can feel that hip of the crossed leg, you're good. We're gonna rock and roll. We're gonna sit all the way up, legs straight out in front for me, guys. Reaching for those toes, grabbing onto ankles, shoelaces, toes, getting a stretch in through the lower back, hamstrings and calves. Bringing the soles of the feet together. You can let gravity pull the knees down or you can take your elbows and push for a deeper stretch. Keeping those heels in as close as possible. And then take one leg, extend it out, cross the leg over. Give that knee a nice big hug and twist to look behind you. Switching sides whenever you're ready. Give that knee a nice big hug. Twist to look behind you. Coming onto your hands and knees, flex those feet. We're gonna drive those hips up towards your ceiling, pushing those heels down for a calf stretch, getting the head between the shoulders. And then slowly walk your feet towards your hands. We're gonna hang like a rag right doll. And I want you to think of separating those shoulder blades for a mid back stretch. Pull them apart. And then slowly start to stand it up vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing those shoulders down and back, hands behind the back. We're gonna open up through the chest, keeping those shoulders down and away from the ears. Bring one arm across, give that shoulder a nice stretch. And then just switching sides whenever you're ready. 
Give yourselves a big old pat on the back. Push that elbow back for a tricep stretch. Switching sides whenever you're ready. We're gonna finish off with those quads. So grab onto something if you need to for balance, but glue those knees together. Push that hip forward, keeping that chest up. Switching legs whenever you're ready. Glue those knees together, push that hip forward. And you guys are done. You guys did amazing job, well done. All right, I will see you guys in the next class.